fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm. <laughs> oh, oh my god, the universe just keeps laughing at us. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate y'all for hanging out once again. And this episode, we're just gonna finish up Nicole's boxcar. Yes! For all the new subscribers, I appreciate y'all as always. Hopefully YouTube has sent you here for a good reason, to learn something and to be introduced to my friend. <laughs> um, and for all the people that have been here with me for, what, two years now, maybe? Right. Anyway, I appreciate y'all, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're gonna finish Nicole's box cars. We've done um, two uh, TTX box cars. This one is mine, and there's yours. We kind of just freestyling, right? Having fun. Um, she's an artist. We'll talk a little more about Nicole. If you hadn't seen the first episode, I suggest you click that link up there and check it out. You can learn a little about her. We'll talk more about her as we progress through this. And, um, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, that's what's up. So um, I need to use a paintbrush. Get into my... Your, your natural yes. habitat. Natural yeah, habitat. yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna try and throw some kinks at her. Um, again, if you hadn't seen her work, check out the link. But she is, like, so dope. Like, I mean, unbelievably dope. Hey, um, and so I want to try and throw some wrenches at her now and see if we can uh, throw her off her game. She came up with the color for the, the dust, bruh, like, <laughs> come on, man. See what else we can, we can That's crazy. make up on the fly today. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I'm gully. I'm excited. Cool. All right. So um, without further ado, let's uh, finish up. Yeah. Okay. So use a sponge. Or the shaky method of where I was saying you use a paintbrush. And yeah. I think for this application, we should use the paintbrush. Okay. So I'm gonna put a little bit of dark. How do you determine what you wanna use, like the brush or the sponge? Just depend on like the car? The car, the the actual thing that I'm, so I use the brush a lot. And I'm gonna flip a little bit here, back and forth. I'm gonna flip a lot with brush and sponge between like if i'm doing a structure a building or something mm -hmm. versus a box car oh, okay um because with the box car we can get like some very little detail where we want to mm -hmm. the sponge is more or less here's a, a block of sponge right. you get what i give you type <laughs> of thing now you still can finesse it some mm -hmm. but um and so if you grab your paintbrush, yes. you put a little bit on a tip. Okay. Yep. And then, so we're mimicking rust and you can start anywhere you want to, but the thing is you want to remember where rust grows type of thing. Okay. So typically in the corners and you just kind of just dot. dot it in there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure I was still... Oh no, you, you marked it for me. There you go. Look yeah. at you. Yeah, see? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm getting, not gonna lie, I've not really like paid attention to where rust goes on things. So often. rust collects or From starts water. growing World War. Yes. Okay. So imagine this sitting up. There's probably a bunch of rust down at the bottom. At the bottom okay. in the corners where water would hang here mm -hmm. and kind of skirt off this lip. And so that's why I'm putting it here. Um, and then, you know, just in certain sections. Okay. Yeah. And so yes, that's where rust yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is more intimidating than the airbrushing. Why? It feels like I need to know, like, like well, yes, really yes, you here? do. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more uh, like research I should have done. Mm. 
Yes, but I mean, you could just pull up pictures, and that's kind of I'll have like reference yeah. of a box car that I think I want to do, mm -hmm. um, and so. Yeah. Can I get one of your drinks? You sure can. I'm gonna go grab one. <laughs> that's helpful. And so yeah, see, I don't think I done a sponge with that either. I done the whole. I can see the dots. Yeah. But I, well, it does look like you took, you know. A little bit. Yeah, like you did a little, little over here. I like that. So are we painting on top of this that we're doing right now? Yep. And it just adds more layering to. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna add a little earth brown to that. A little earth. So we're just mixing a little bit extra to thicken up that paint. I feel like it's a little thin. No, I wasn't working on it. Totally it's worked. totally working. <laughs> Look at that. So It's brown again. It's so brown again. What well, we have Nicole, the uh, color theorist. You, I mixed Making a lot of colors. What it do. <laughs> Man. Oh yeah, that's totally dark brown now. And that's what we want. It is more gray, but like the other color I think does look rustier. So and rust is a bunch of different colors. Like it's not always rust color, if you will. Oh yeah. <laughs> Well, I need to see what we're in the layer. Mm hmm. That's great. Look at that. Color theory. And so you can do like the edge. Yeah, the edges. Like it's um, been banged up a little bit. You know, that some paint has uh, chipped away off of that. So this is obviously time consuming, right? Yes. Um, is there something that is equal to? So what's when you're painting uh, anime or, yeah. you know, um, heck, I would probably more abstract. Honestly, the abstract stuff moves so much faster. Really? It's so free. It's so like, mm. it's it's paint, it's blend this big area, step back, mm -hmm. how do I feel about it? Jump back into it, add a little bit more here. But like it, it goes, I use big brushes and it goes kind of quick. Got it, got um, it. The longest part with that is waiting for like things to, to dry. dry. Yeah. <laughs> um, with the anime paintings though, I mean I spend, I make so many layers just to get something like evenly opaque, but I told you I like a mix in colors in between constantly because it'll dry differently when it goes on. Mm. So like one area of a shirt could take me an hour of like, oh, that, that dried a lot darker than I thought it would. Got or it. oh, that's a little too blue or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And just adjusting mm. and then doing another layer. <laughs> right, right. I try to get like my color palettes kind of like planned out ahead of time. Because mm -hmm. then it, it does, it moves a little quicker when I do that, but... No, I think the weirdest thing right now is like, between tattooing or like painting anime, 
Anytime I'm doing any fine, like, detail stuff, I'm trying to keep my hand as steady as possible. So forcing <laughs> my hand to be like, Whoa! Yeah. It is very, um, different. It is. It's very different. But now it's like, oh, I can be sloppy and messy? Bad. I know, it always feels like I'm doing something wrong. I mean, especially if you're whispering about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. It looks this good. Does it does it? Okay. Yeah. Okay. She said, I don't know, man. I don't man. know, man. Your shit just looks a lot <laughs> cooler, so. Ah. You're doing all right. Okay. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, yeah. a little polka dotty though. No, you know what? Okay. Okay, right? never mind. I'm feeling, oh, I'm doing okay. Yeah, I told you. Yeah, it's, it's a polka dotty. I gotta look at your, because I'm looking at a finished one of your trains, and I'm like, it does not look like that. That's all right. Like some places can be like, you know, you can just make the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? But then I'll always come back and let me see. So if I do like just a very thick bunch, yeah, I'll make sure I um, taper it off, if you will. Okay. So, you know, if you've looked at rust and how it grows, it just doesn't like, uh, there's no line, right? So uh -huh. We make it like that. It just doesn't do that. Like it's there's like bubbling, out. something happening oh, here, okay. and some little blemishes. Because mm -hmm. it, it's still creeping yeah. and growing. So yeah. when your shit looks like they're like it looks like the paint is chipped off. We're getting there. We're getting just, there. It's crazy. <laughs> I always just tell people, make sure you do a fade, right? So like, where am I too? Like you know, you're good right okay. there. Oops. Um, how you was bulky here and yeah. it faded out. Okay. Um, faded here. Yeah, it's, it's you're fine. Okay. Man. Okay. You're doing all right. Okay. Because we still need to add some other stuff in there. Oh, so all right. we're just right now. This is like one layer. And honestly, we can probably stop here just so you can try the, try the, the oil stuff. Okay. Um, I'll rinse that off. And we're going to take a pause real quick for our uh, sponsorship. No. We have sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to grab some oils and we'll be right back. All right, cool. So Nicole has just finished weathering yes. with some oils this time and the old pull down brush trick. Um, She's done a really good, like, like low key. You, you, you killed it. I'm um, no. <laughs> <ooh. laughs> <laughs> my doll. Um, so what did you think of, about, like, was it, again, our, for, for me wanting you to come mm -hmm. paint, with me and all this stuff yeah. was because you're an artist did you feel any connection like did you because you tried a bunch of different things oh, tell them what you yeah got. yeah them. we i mean it's really fun it's i think honestly the the most unique aspect of this it's like dramatically different from painting on canvas mm -hmm. is canvas is just blank there's nothing on it like it's just a shape um, so everything on, like this, like this a flat surface. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but not even that, like this already looks cool. Mm -hmm. Like it looks like a train already. So I'm right. just like making it look how I want it to, but mm -hmm. having that base of something that's already like, got you. I don't know. Like that was just a really different. And when I was watching you, you went at this, like it was canvas though. <laughs> like 
like I was saying, I don't know if we recorded that or not, but in my brain, it's still just a box car, right? It, it's it's a canvas, yeah. but it's still, you went at it like. Because I was like honing in on like, okay, I'm looking at this small area and I just want to get that gradient like you were telling mm -hmm. me. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just focusing on getting that gradient there and not the overall boxcar. I think that's why I was mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. a little painterly with it. Um, and it's really cool though. Yeah, I yeah. like how forgiving it is. Oils are super, and I've been telling y'all this for a minute, like for me, um, you can take away oil a lot easier mm -hmm. than you can um, acrylics. Um, it's not really the same with canvas though. Really? Not really. I mean, it's forgiving because you can just let it dry and put a new layer on top of it. But, and like with the Who wants to do all that? That's what I'm saying. That's... Exactly. And on wood, it, it is a little bit more forgiving. Um, but on canvas, like with the texture of it, you just can't like... I don't know. I know some people do say you can remove it kind of fast, but I... It's not the same as like this. That smooth surface, it just comes off so... So, so easy. So easy. So easy. Super forgiving. Yeah. Um, and your streaks. I mean, you said you were having a tough time pulling them straight. I, I guess I had a hard time with that. They look good, man. You've done a really good job. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I had a one learner. <laughs> um, so back to art and what you do. You're a tattoo artist. Yes. Mostly painting now. Mostly kind painting. Kind of taking a step back. Right. So, um, but as us, excuse me, as tattoo artists, yeah. we do a lot digital prep yes digital or traditional what's yeah. your favorite oh <laughs> traditional is my favorite okay but i love digital has made like creating traditional art so much i don't know it's just like it's it's a very useful tool mm. in both tattooing or painting yeah yeah um especially with tattooing holy crap it's like a dramatic <laughs> night and day yeah. like i'd be lost without oh my god iPad same. Trying to do any tattoo um so yeah I, I think i lean more towards traditional too and that's why i love mm -hmm. trains and putting buildings together and stuff like the that. physical but, like yeah, holding yeah. something that yep. you're painting versus mm -hmm. sitting smelling the oil yeah and, there's a disconnect on a digital yes yep yeah i agree you're an artist artist, ain't you? You're an artist artist. <laughs> <laughs> on wheels now. It's, a... <laughs> it's wheeling pretty. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> that joke, was a good one, right? It was a good one. I will give you that. Or I had a wheelie good time. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> wheelie. Um, <laughs> but oh, bones. that's what we do, man. Um, how was it? Like, overall, you know, this... it was fun. Ooh, cool. It was really fun. It's really nice. There's something very, like, therapeutic about just getting out of your lane and trying yeah, something yeah. new. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. Um, so it felt really good. I like it. I like it a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it definitely, I mean, I would be proud to run it on my layout. And so, <laughs> so, you know, and that's a thing in, in our hobby, right? We want some cool stuff, whether if you're into weathering and having stuff weathered on your layout, you want good stuff that looks like it belongs. Yeah. And that it has taking some beating from mother nature right? taking a beating from mother nature um like and you've done it <laughs> oh, <I'm just> <laughs> um no you've done good like that's really fantastic work man. it was you know i like i know i said it while we were working but i totally see how this could just be such a it, you just get just yeah warped, just sucked into the mm -hmm. like time warp of just I could have just kept going for yeah, hours. Yeah, yeah, four hours. And so we didn't even add powders to it. So there's, a, yeah, there's, I'm saying there's yeah. so many levels to doing something. And I don't want to come across as like 
my way is yeah. the exact way. But I know you do your research though. I do my and research. And you put in the work. <laughs> and I put in the layers, you know. Mm -hmm. So we've done the clear coat, mm -hmm. airbrush, mm -hmm. oils, and, and we've done two airbrushes, two passes, right? Yeah. Two different colors. Um, then we've done the chipping. Mm -hmm. So what is that? Three layers, four layers now? We're four layers Damn, in, right? Yeah. And now we've done the oils. You've done two or three different uh -huh. colors of those. Mm -hmm. Then we've done some oils where we faded at the bottom. Yeah. And on the wheels. And on the wheels. So, well, and that's just the box car. We ain't even talked about the truck shit and wheels yet. So, oh my God, you're right. there's a lot. And we can still add powders to the box car, too. So, um, if you're, you know, wondering why certain things take so long or that's why i mean yeah it's a lot it's a lot of stuff and that's just one side i know and honestly i'm not even like i don't i think it looks really good but i also i'm sure you feel like you could do more right yeah yeah and so that's one side guys like we still got the top i was thinking that the, too the like the other back side the front and ends of it um and then the bottom if you just wanted to keep going so there's a lot that you can, that do. You can do with one box bar. Um, and we tackle the side. I'm glad you was, uh, it was really willing fun. to. Yeah. You know, it, uh, what I was wor not worried, but like going into it, I had a false expectation, I guess, that it would be really limiting having like like I have I have a box car it is going to stay a box car mm -hmm. and I'm just going to make it look weathered like it just it just seemed like there's not a whole lot of room for any art I, I mean I wouldn't say art but like in some ways creativity but like I don't even want to say that no but no you, you I, know I, I do mean? know I that's just, why I said art like yeah art creativity so. Um, but it wasn't like that at all. Mm -hmm. Like once I started painting, I'm like, oh my god, it's, I can bring that stroke down here. Yeah, and I, I could do something here. Or so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's this way, way more you can mm -hmm. do with them. Than and and that's life. where I do my other release of art, yeah. right? Because um, well, we, you, the way you like tag them and the whole setup, like it just. Well, yeah, that's a different thing, right? Different that's a whole nother. We should do that next time. If you want to come back, I would love to have you come back. Um, so we are getting ready to dip, but Nicole, tell us where all these folks can find you at. Um, she commissions and does a lot of different art as well. So yeah, you can it. you can find it all um, on Instagram. It's at Nicole underscore Willingham underscore, and that's my name on TikTok as well. I don't use my TikTok as often. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> Um, but I'm mostly on Instagram, so follow me there. Sweet. Cool. I need to stop doing thumbs up. I've done them like 15. Nah, that's cool. Thumbs up, man. Okay. Hey. Um, thank you, Patreon folks. I want to thank y'all from the bottom of my heart. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all for sticking with me throughout my changes and all the stuff that I've done. Um, it's thank you. Art. Yeah, it is. It is. It's a part of art. It's a part of growing and changing. Yep. And I'm an artist artist. Artist artist. I thought we could do this whole episode without saying that. No, it no. It's, it, it never. <laughs> Thank you for all my YouTube <laughs> <laughs> community folks out there. I appreciate y'all for the support too. Um, and that's it. This was this was great, man. Yeah, I appreciate you for really hanging out. Absolutely. Um, y'all check out the next video. And uh, I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs> 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 Goodbye. <laughs>